Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a rock inspired look for you guys. This look is great for any time you want to go out at night and be a little bit more daring. And if you want to wear it during the day, go ahead. Who am I to judge? So if you like this look, keep on watching the rest of my video. First off, I'm going to start off by applying a piece of tape on the corner of my eye to make a sharp bench. Then I'm going to apply my NARS eyeshadow primer all over my lid and blend with my finger. Next I'm going to use a black eyeliner to smudge all over my lid just like so and also I'm going to be applying it on my waterline. Just make sure you don't poke your eye. Mm -hmm. Now using a fluffy clean brush I'm going to blend everything making it nice and smoky. Now using this medium brown eyeshadow I'm gonna apply it on my crease just like so and this is gonna work as my first transition color. Next I'm gonna get this black eyeshadow with a flat shader brush and I'm gonna be applying it all over my lid making sure I don't go on my crease. Now using this light brown eyeshadow, I'm going to apply it on my crease again and this is going to be my second transition color making everything nice and smoky. Now using this concealer from NYX, I'm going to shape and highlight my brow bone just like so with a synthetic brush. And then I'm going to dab with my fingers. I'm also going to be applying it on my inner corners just so I can open up this area and make it nice and bright. Now using my Anastasia Dill Brow Powder, I'm going to shape my eyebrows. And then I'm going to use her Pomade Brow Gel and I'm going to finish shaping my brows. And then I'm going to use a spoolie to make it look nice and natural. Now I'm going to use a light pink eyeshadow just to highlight my brow bone and set that concealer. Now I'm going to use Makeup Geeks Pigment in Utopia. And this is just a beautiful dark goldy antique color and I'm just going to apply it all over my lid just to give it a little more pop into this look. Now I'm using a fluffy brush just so I can clean up those edges and make everything nice and blended. Now I'm taking off the tape and you can see the sharp edge that I created and it looks nice. Now I'm going to apply the same black eyeliner into my lower waterline and my lash line and I'm just going to blend everything with the pencil brush. Now using my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, I'm going to apply one coat before I apply. Yes, I will apply falsies. I'm using my Ardell Color Impact in Wine. I'm just going to apply my lashes very close to my lash line, just like so. And then I'm just going to finish up with some couple of coats of mascara. And that's it for the eyes. Now for the face, I'm gonna prime my face with my Becca primer. And then I'm gonna apply my foundation and it's, this is my current favorite foundation at the moment. And it's the Bare Minerals Bare Skin. And I'm just gonna apply it all over my face, starting from the center, moving outwards, and then I'm just gonna go down my neck. Make sure you go down your neck. Now using my Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Concealer, I'm gonna highlight my cheekbones just like so. Now using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, I'm just going to cover those dark spots that show through through my foundation and I'm just going to blend ever so slightly with my finger, just dabbing and dabbing. Make sure you don't rub. 
Now I'm going to grab my Bahama Mama from the Balm Bronzer and I'm just going to apply it as a contour. And I'm just going to contour my face just like so. Concentrating in the backs of my cheeks. And then I'm going to blend, blend, blend. Now using my Frap White Blush from the Balm, I'm just going to concentrate that also in the backs of my cheeks. And now on top of my pinky blush, I'm going to apply my NYX Bake Eyeshadow. And this is just a bronzy shimmery color that's just going to make this look way much better. And now using my Sunbeams Benefit Liquid Highlighter, I'm going to apply it on my cheekbones and blend with my fingers just like so. Now for the lippy lips. I'm going to use my Max Lip Pencil in Plum and I'm just going to line my lips and fill them in and this is just going to help my lipstick stay on all night long and I'm using City Colors Francesca and this color is amazing it's a really beautiful deep wine color and it's just it just makes this look complete and if you mess up just get any concealer and just correct those little imperfections and then blend with your finger and pretty much we're done you guys this is it this is a finished look I hope you enjoyed it thank you so 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 much for watching if you did like this video go ahead and click on that like button and if you haven't go ahead and subscribe and thank you so much for watching I love you guys and I want to give a special thank you to everyone at Ipsy Studios for helping me create this beautiful wonderful video for you guys thank you so much and Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Bye.